Girl. <laughs> well, you know what this means. <clears throat> Capra. We're using the Bay of Goodbridge crawlers. They should be quite good, they're very sticky. The ground is quite muddy today. Now, being that this was a Capra kit, you can put in whatever electronics you like. I've got a Holmes BLS SHV 500 version 3. That's the latest 3S, 4S direct uh, battery drive servo from Holmes Hobbies. I also have a Hobbywing Axe 2100 KV R2. Oh yeah. If you're watching Mr. JRH, I love your service. You watch this. Look at that. That's just the wheel shaking. <laughs> okay, Axial Capra problem one. Now we're running a little 3S battery. It's the same little 3S battery I use in all my builds. I thought we might get away with a sneaky pull around there, but we didn't, that's okay. Gosh, this thing is composed. I wonder if we can do this in one take, let's find out. Problem two. It will benefit from overdrive. All oh, these tires are nice. Not nice enough. Now you can't see possibly on the camera, but it's a wet and muddy day and traction is hard to come by. Gosh, this thing's nice. Hello, Tally. Problem three. Tally hasn't seen the Capra before. She's checking it out. Oh, look at that. Let's do problem four. Problem four. Now I'm taking my time here on the throttle, even though we probably would benefit from higher throttle. I can already tell I'd like overdrive in the front and I'd also like a bit more weight in the front. Oh, it's so close to losing it. So close. So full marks for these tires. That front left is gripping like an absolute boss. It's so hard. So overdrive here would be good because that would help spin faster in the front to pull the rig up while the back doesn't push the whole car forward so quickly. That's really one, one time where overdrive would help. It'd, it'd be like kind of pulling it around. That's really what I want. Because right now I don't want the rears to be pushing the car forward. I want them just to sit there. So we've got to do a bunch of reverses. We've been on a gnarly, gnarly angle here and it just held on. So many trucks would have fallen then. And I can finish even at this lovely slow speed and it's just smooth as butter. On to problem five with the Capra kit. The X system is beautifully silent, so silent. And the nearly infinite approach angle is such that I can just walk it into that brick where so many ready to run vehicles with their scale bodies just bash in and the, the tires can't even hit the, the rock here. <laughs> you can just walk right up to it. Again, overdrive would have been helpful here because I could have steered the whole rig forward to the right without having the rear wheels pushing the whole thing forward, which is really not what you want. But again, geometry saves the day. Problem five done. On to problem six. Now from my few minutes with this rig so far, I can tell you, overdriving the front would really make a world of difference. There we go. Now, I'm wondering if this can be done without wheel speed. And to do that, you need to make sure that you're not going to bottom out on the skid plate. So I'm going to bring it on an angle here and look at that it did. The other option for that would be to use uh, wheel speed and just kind of bounce it over. A little bit of weight in the form of maybe some brass on the outside of the portals and overdrive to the front. And I bet you that'd be about all you'd need to make this thing an absolute beast. A more expensive secondary thing you could do also would be high clearance links on the back and that will give you slightly more clearance uh, to get over obstacles that are shaped like that. First impressions of the Capra though, super duper capable. This is not the kind of rig I would have bought if I wasn't running this channel, but now that I've got it, I can see just how much fun it is. I'm going to poodle around on my rock course now for a while and just enjoy this thing. Uh, it is probably the most capable 1.9 rig I have here, actually. So that's the actual Capra. Thank you so much for hanging around. If this was useful and or interesting, please throw me a like. Thanks for watching today and I'll catch you next time. So I'm gonna actually poodle around on my rock course. I'm gonna poodle around on my rock course for a what, what, there. Blah, blah, blah.